a windy day out on the lake so I've uh, pulled off early and I'm setting up my camp and I'm going to show you the new one wind hammock tarp that I'm using and here's a look at that and the added length is at the ridge there and the reason for it is to provide the option for those fold-in doors. Today's windy um, chance of rain blowing in off the lake so I want the option to be able to close those doors. Let me show you what that looks like. So the triangular sections at the end will fold to the center and provide doors. And I just have them looped together and staked out. So instead of just guy outs at the corners, there's actually guys about three feet in from the end of the tarp. So that provides kind of a trapezoid shape. And then there are also tie outs here in the body of the tarp. Very seldom need that, but occasionally if you want to loft it out to the side, that's an option as, as well. Now let me go to the other end. So this shows the square end. Um, there's the side guy out and then the other guy there down to the stake. And then the corners, in this case I want the windward side closed and I want the other side open. So I just have those staked out separately. So I am carrying an extra set of stakes. I can put four stakes on a side instead of just two, but it gives me a lot of flexibility. When it's hot, I can guy it out more flat and have the sides open completely. But if the weather's threatening, then I'll close the ends and uh, protect myself. Generally just the one end on the windward side, but if it's cold out, then I'll close both ends and uh, retain some body heat inside. So this is an inside view. I always use a separate ridge line. So this rope is stretched between the two trees taut and then the tarp is suspended over the ridge line. At the very center there's another uh, reinforcement point and I've added a prusik loop there to hang a I can't, or a LED light. But this shows those end panels pulled towards the center and uh, guide out. Obviously it's not zipped together or velcroed together, but it does deflect 90% of the, of the rain. And again, that ridge line is 15 feet long. So I'm suspended down and towards the center of this tarp and actually closer to the open end if it's going to be rainy so I don't have to worry about the rain coming in and of course a thousand times better than just having it com completely open. And then one other clever thing that they did is they added little, the guy lines are really really long and I was going to shorten them. There's little bungee cords at the at the tarp end but they do include a little clip that you can roll up the excess uh, line and just clip it there. So that gives you a little more flexibility. Um, if I wanted to raise one side up completely, more like a lean-to, then I would have a lot more guy line available that I could string to a, an adjacent tree. But then I also have these side pullouts to give it more loft if it's uh, really, really warm and breezy. So I really like this tarp. It is plenty big. I like the color. It's a dark khaki brownish green, very stealthy. All the reinforcements 
guide tabs are um, have a, a sewn-on reinforcement. The ridge line and all the reinforcements in the corners are all seam sealed, taped already. So it's ready to go and it's at a very, very reasonable price.